I just see it as a bunch of uh, young people going through it, going through life, you know? And, you know, although Janae, Janae ain't the, uh, the most innocent person. I will not say that she is definitely not innocent, but, um, to just, it seemed like everybody has just thrown everything on her. It's just, it's just her. Nobody's wrong, but her, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Everybody's wrong. All y'all wrong. Janae wrong. Uh, Corey and them wrong. Nick and them wrong. All y'all wrong. You know what I'm saying? So until they get out of this 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 drama that they in with this, you know, we're going to keep hearing the same shit. And I'm over it. <laughs> Everybody that is looking for a good reaction channel, go over there and watch her. Thank you. Watch her. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me tell my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. What's up, y'all? She girl Nick G the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Now, last night I'm sitting there, you know, attempting to react to Janae's full video, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to react to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, because of her per se it's just because of the whole drama situation we've already discussed all these things and now it's resurfacing and the shit I, i'm not, i don't want to give it my energy <laughs> you know what i'm saying to be honest so y'all don't even ask me to react to uh the part one and all that uh, mm -mm. I, I just i don't care you know what i'm saying uh but she did say my name in this video this part two video and I think the timestamp is 11-11. I was on live last night and you know, some people was telling me about it. You know what I'm saying? And they was like, you know, she said nice things about you. I'm like, all right, but let me go ahead and uh, react to this video. But yeah, I'm more so getting out of the, I ain't saying I'm getting out of all drama, I'd be lying. But something that's already been said and you know what I'm saying? We've already talked about this, you know, like, mm-mm. They, they going to do what they do. Go to court and do what they do, child. I, don't, I really don't care <laughs> about that whole drama shit with, with this situation. Certain shit just be too messy for me. I be like, bro, I don't even, I don't even want no parts. And you know what I'm saying? I'm working on my pranks and my challenges and my story times and, and still do my reactions for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But if it ain't the drama that I want to put myself in, I ain't doing it. So, uh, let me go ahead and start the screen recorder and when I skip it to my part that what I'm gonna do let get it part two continue and I didn't even watch part one I mean I didn't react to part one so when I did it I I did it I did it to your rage I'm Dante um on choice TV I did it to them because of the fact I'm like oh well they said something so so what we gonna say something back but we gonna say it louder when I I sent I want to say, what did I say that was? A combined 10 million over at Your Rage, I'm Dante, Choice TV, and whoever else it was. I didn't think about the impact. I didn't think about what them babies might do when they go home. Yeah, they tough when they get in front of the cameras, but who knows what they really was feeling? Who knows what somebody might have DM'd them about their mama or somebody else that might have really had them on one. And for that, I apologize. And since I have not only been, you know, somebody that has done cyberbullying on where uh, unknowingly i have also been a partaker of it as well and i just feel like this is the time this is the moment to look we all have taken a part in um i don't even want to call that shit cyberbullying we we take our own opinions we create a narrative that's where it goes wrong and that's why i've kind of slowed down on certain drama you create narratives, people start thinking these things of the, these people when all you doing is really just giving your opinion. You give your opinion, but somebody took your opinion and they ran with it. So now that's what the story is. That's the narrative. That's what this is about. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I did when I was doing certain videos about Chris and when it comes to Chris and Parker, um, after hearing his side and all of that, I kind of changed my mind on how I felt initially because of what I seen in the beginning, you know? And I was telling her, you know what I'm saying? In the video, take him for all his money and all that shit. And now he's not on social media anymore. And it's like, damn, you know, he really, now he's really lost out on money. Now he, you know, it's hard for him to, well, I don't know what it's hard for him to do or whatever, but I'm just saying, he ain't getting the money he used to get. 
you know. And although he did a lot of bullshit, you don't wish certain things on your enemies, you know. Or, or you don't wish certain things on anyone, let alone your enemies. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and Chris wasn't an enemy to me. I was just giving my opinion, but I created a narrative. And that's where, you know, I feel some type of way about. And I will say publicly, I apologize to Chris Sales for uh, making, you know, such judgments that I did, you know, but really before hearing his side of the story, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I hope things get better for him for real. And, um, yeah, man, that's just how I feel. <laughs> to use my voice and, you know, the support I have from a lot of you babies, a lot of you babies, a lot of you grown folks that's rocking with me that understand the business of this and not getting caught up on this he said, she said stuff. But I promise you, I, I truly apologize for what yeah, the role that it. I played. Review no drama. Gilly, that's you. You, you, <laughs> Chris, I'm going to address you a little bit more later on in the, the other videos I'm going to do. But what you ain't about to do is start this Nikki King for me. You like me on the channel. Lies. You understand me? Lies. And I'm going to expose you a little behind because of the fact we ain't about to do that. You understand? Ain't nobody locked you out of that channel. Ain't nobody took you out of nothing. You left here and you did what you chose to do. You were sneaking behind our backs dealing with quote unquote the enemies. And then you're going to say, oh, I'm not a snake. This, this, that, and that. I'm not saying you're a snake, but you were so part of that whole, you know, lynch mob to destroy. And then you tried to play both sides and you was mad because Trey didn't choose a side. Well, he did choose a side, but it wasn't your side. Your whole world situation and how you handled that was wrong. And that lies that I... <laughs> I want to know why he popped up at your house. You know what I'm saying? Did Eric tell him to come to the house is really what I want to know. Um, because he just popped up out of nowhere. And after a certain amount of months, wanting your shit is like, you know, I would have been left that shit alone. Granted, it's his stuff. It's his stuff. But you also have to be responsible for your shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's discrepancies on if, you know, she moved. They ain't tell nobody they was moving. Blah, blah, blah. It's just a whole bunch of drama. Everybody should have had their own crib from the jump. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so messy. But I want to know, did he just pop up at the crib? Y'all are good enough actors that y'all should have rehearsed this and y'all should have went live. What did I tell y'all? You do not go live and, you know, try and re rehash a story because of the fact you can't control it. You go running off at the mouth and you say stuff that you don't need to say. But y'all didn't listen in that class. Y'all did this live. King and Nick feeding Chris that whole, oh, well, how you get the address? Y'all, y'all showed it in y'all video. Remember the text message that I sent y'all the address? Remember the text message that I gave Corey when I gave him the address and I said, hey, y'all can come over? Austin had my address. Chris has been to my house. Nah, I put him late. Y'all remember why I put the part at the end time? I did that because that when we agreed to do something. We had an agreement to do something. You feel me? Y'all talked to us like we had an agreement to do something. Me, Chris, Austin, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, he know where she stay. Then. Chris has been to my new house. Chris has been to okay. my new house. So Let he me know say where that she one stay. more time for the people in the back. Chris has been to my new house multiple times after all of this stuff went down. I'm gonna ask you a question. You, did you, before you came, did you know where she stayed? Who? Did you know where she stayed this whole time? Houston, did you know her address before she gave it to you? She, she, gave, she gave it to you the address. Yeah. Right? And you pulled up over there, right? Yeah. Right. So like, she didn't say yes or no. It's not like you just pulled up no, over there without her knowing no, that she was coming over there. She told you to get her stuff, yes, right? Yes, I did, she told me to pull up to the house. To get your stuff, right? Yes. So why we came over there? So we, we My thing is, he hasn't made a video to say his side, you know what I'm saying? Um, so if he obviously been over her house already, you know, it's just like, I, it's so much like all the other drama I've done. I knew exactly what I was talking about. I knew exactly what was going on and this shit's so damn messy and all over the place. I don't want to parts, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, apparently my timestamp is 1158, I think. <laughs> I was willing to go and, you know, hey, you know, neighbor, hey, hey, you know, call the lamp. Hey, no, 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 because you were wrong. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like 
when I left, my shit would have came with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm so damn uh, overprotective of all my shit. Like, you know, when I first started getting, you know, good money from YouTube, I started investing. I got so much shit. It's crazy. But when I leave, it's coming with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be in a house full of people anyway that I halfway don't trust. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. You know, I do the little group shit. We could do the group pranks, all that shit. All right. But I'm going to be at my house. You know what I'm saying? So holler at me when y'all ready. You know, even if I got to stay over there all day. Cool. But when I'm done, I'm going home. And all my shit going to be at the crib. Then we wouldn't have these issues. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad all of them stay in separate houses now. Because they now they got the mindset like, bro, I'm going to just keep my shit over here so we ain't got to have them issues. All of them had issues with somebody stealing, somebody tearing up their shit. You know what I'm saying? Just young, dumb shit that I, I've already been through that in my life. So I get it. They're going to have to go through it. It just happens that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just see it as a bunch of uh, young people going through it, like going through life, you know? And, you know, although Janae... Janae ain't the uh, the most innocent person. I will not say that. She is definitely not innocent. But um, to just, it seemed like everybody has just thrown everything on her. It's just, it's just her. Nobody's wrong but her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody's wrong. All y'all wrong. Janae wrong. Uh, Courtney them wrong. Nick and them wrong. All y'all wrong. You know what I'm saying? So until they get out of this 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 drama that they in with this, you know, we're gonna keep hearing the same shit and. I'm over it. <laughs> now, if you're going to do a commentary channel, do that and do it well. Royalty world. They do what they do. I do what I do. So I'm going to talk about me. Um, I'm going to let her finish. Absolutely love her channel. I raw, I watch your reactions, whether they're about me or not, because of the fact what I like about her is that she listens to what's being said. She yep. makes a little comments and she moves yep. on. She's not sitting there talking about, oh, yeah, well, you this, this, that, another. And yeah, you know, uh, you're a liar and you you stole this and you're a scam artist and this, this, that, another. She says, well, tell your story. I, I absolutely rock with royalties world and i think everybody that is looking for a good reaction channel go over there and watch her thank you watch her. as far as me being a reaction channel i'm not into the negative shit i have had negative sagas right so we're gonna go chrissy we're gonna go chris uh out of those two i i definitely said everything i felt literally from fucking head to toe because that's how i felt and once again going back to it creates narratives. You know what I'm saying? Now, I feel like if I have to say something negative about you, I don't want to react to you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where I am now in my life. So it's not that I haven't made those mistakes, because I have. You know, y'all know I own up to my shit. You know what I'm saying? I have made those mistakes. And, um, you know, when it comes to negative shit, I don't want to... Uh, uh, I want to say what's going on, yes. Talk about what's going on, shit. If I feel like you was right, you was right. If I feel like you was wrong, you was wrong. In those cases, I felt like they was wrong. So I said what I said. Uh, but things don't have to go away of where you um, where you demean someone or where it does sound like bullying. You know what I'm saying? And even though that person may be a damn bully themselves, because I don't like bullies. I really don't. But even though that person may be a bully themselves, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to, you know, just keep going in on niggas. And I, I'm over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Completely over that. So uh, this is just growth within me, you know. Um, I don't I don't like, if I got to say something bad about you, I don't want to say something. I don't want to say nothing at all. So um, to be honest, that's the turn that I've taken. So I love my channel. I, I, I love the way I speak about people. And I don't want to demean anybody. And bullying, if that's what you want to call it, I ain't into that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I have nothing to do with whoever, everybody else's channel. Who, whoever else do their reactions and how they do it, that's what they do. I'm talking about me, I'm good, man. I appreciate that, Janae. You know what I'm saying? And I hope eventually you get through this shit. You know what I'm saying? And when you have your groups or whatever, you know, you 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 conduct them uh, a little bit more professional, you know what I'm saying? So y'all don't have these problems because this just this just a bunch of it's just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of bullshit to be honest. So um it's it's too messy for you to be in considering your age and you know them considering their age as well. It's just too much. It's messy and don't nobody have time for none of this shit. At some point the negativity don't nobody want that. You know what I'm saying? 
it's a lot of YouTubers who were doing drama. Um, and now they like, bro, I don't even want to do this shit no more. <laughs> I just want to do vlogs and do my own stuff. And that's true. It'll drain you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep up with bullshit. Mm. I, <laughs> I don't care for it no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going uh, to be bringing y'all this good ass content. You know what I'm saying? And let's get some laughs in, some jokes. Child, start some viral shit. Huh? Let's get these songs popping that I'm putting out here. You know what I'm saying? All that. Let's get some good shit popping. But I appreciate you, Janae. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I wish you the best. You know what I'm saying? And I hopefully, and hopefully, all this shit go away for all y'all. I hope all this shit go away for all y'all. Okay? And we go on to the next. But I'm done with this video. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest the best the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.